Welcome to Dynamic Excel Chart Series number 16. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook. Excel Dynamic Chart Series 12 to 16. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to add a dynamic line which represents the average of all the data points. And if, as we change data, in this case scores or something like that, if you uh, change it, the line that represents the average will dynamically change. So then any of the bars, obviously, that are past the average you know, are above average. Let's go over here. We have a small data set. First thing is we're going to have to do a couple uh, uh, steps. And by the way, this is going to be an XY scatter, and this is going to be a bar. Right? XY scatter has two numbers, Y and X, and each point on the chart is a certain X out, a certain Y up. Uh, bar column charts are just one dimensional. The, there's only one number here, and this is some stat category with equidistance. So uh, sometimes when you try to mash two different charts together, uh, it gets tricky. All of the, the trick here is all of the X values for this line right here are going to be the average. So if we have, you know, 10 different scores, there'll be 10 repeated average values for the X, and then all the, the individual scores will be the Y. Whereas for the uh, bar here, the, the Y, that really is the distance out this, what's called the horizontal axis. Let's come over here. First, we'll create our bar. And watch this. I have the min, um, I accidentally sorted that. I did not mean to sort that. Um, I'm going to point to the edge, hold shift, click on the edge of that, and click and drag. That's moving and inserting. All right, let's see if I got. Uh, yeah, so all of these. So the way this is, is I need the max and min to force that vertical line to always hit the max and min. Uh, these are the particular scores. And here's the average. The, one of the conceptual tricks is that we had to, these will be our x's, right, for the x, y scatter. In fact, I'll put an x right here. And this will be y. Insert. Right, and you can see I have some dynamic range. So that's calculating the average, right? And then there's some formula calculating a random number here. So the first thing is we want these right here on a bar chart. Now watch this. I want this as the series name. I'm going to click right there, hold control. Then I'm going to still hold control and click there, hold control and click there. So even though they're this series name, that'll be the name for these data points, isn't touching it, it'll still still work. Insert bar, I'm going to say bar. So I'll click there. I don't need that one there. Uh, now, to mash a XY in here, I'm just going to pretend like I'm going to copy a new bar here. So I'm going to get this average column, which will, which will ultimately be our X's. Copy. By the way, in 2003, you would actually click on the edge of this highlighted range in, and see that gray box. You drag it to the chart, and when the dra when the gray box is all the way around the chart, you drop it in. It, 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 they took that out in 2007. They used to use that all the time. Now we have to Control C, click on the edge, and Control V. Now we need to change this, so I click there. I go up to Design Chart Type, Step One of Chart Wizard. Uh, in earlier versions, XY scatter, I'm going to select that one. Click OK. Uh, now we need to edit this. Edit this. I'm going to click there, go to Design, Select Data. In 2003, it's Step 2 Series tab. There's our average. We're going to need to edit this. I'm going to click Edit. So look at that. In fact, click OK. You can click right here and click Edit. You can see it's just thinking there's one value series value, series name. But when we added our XY, sure enough, when we changed it, it knows. So that one's fine. The X is definitely not right. We want to highlight all of these, even though there's there's more of them than uh, the uh, bar chart. So there we have our X's, our Y's, 
definitely not right. I'm going to highlight. Click OK. Click OK. Now we still have a little problem because just the uh, axis, max, and min. Click on the axis. Control 1. The uh, min will be 0. The max will be 100. Uh, so now let's try it. F9, F9. So there, that's the essence of this. Um, we don't need this right here. We do want that because this will indicate where the uh, average is. I'm going to add a little formatting, Control-1. Particularly, I'll change the gap width. Don't, don't have them touching because uh, this isn't like a histogram when the, where these are uh, spans of numbers. Um, we'll leave it just like that. Maybe a label. Go up to Layout. Data labels inside end. Let's try that again. What did I do wrong? Data labels. How about more? And then I'm going to click inside end. Close. With those still highlighted, I'm going to add some font color, white. Oh, maybe I, I had the uh, wrong series highlight. I do not want these uh, labels there. Delete. All right, so now if I hit F9, boom, boom, boom. And we could do other fancy things to this, but uh, that is a dynamic average line, which is the hurdle in essence uh, to view when one of the bars have exceeded the average. X, Y scattered, mashed together with a, a two uh, numbers, mashed together with a uh, bar chart which has just one number. All right, we'll see you next trick.